muy buena gente, sean bienvenidos otra vez al mundo de Vampir. Yo soy su amigo Vir y el día de hoy vamos a continuar con la historia. Pero antes de continuar con la historia, nos han salido unos últimos personajes. Así que vamos a hablar con ellos. Y como siempre, voy a hablar con ellos yo, eh, al principio para que ustedes lo vean. Y al final les explico qué rollo con cada personaje, ¿vale? Good evening, Miss Price. I'm Dr. Reed. Do you remember me? Dr. Reed? Yes, of course. You are the doctor who healed me and my mum. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Good to see you too, Carol. Are you all right? Oh, yes. I, I did not hurt myself recently. I, hope you can stay a little I know how to take care of myself now. I'm almost a grown up. Ok, Carol Price, chicos, básicamente es la hija de, de la señora de la tienda, de aquí de, de West End. Eh, vamos a quitar esto. Entonces parece ser que se ha estado lastimando de manera espontánea. Sabemos por cuál es la razón, pero se las voy a decir un momento más cuando analicemos a la mamá de, de, de Carol Price, ¿vale? Así que vamos con ella. Acá está la señora. Good evening, Miss Price. How are you tonight? Doctor Reed, I didn't know you had returned from the war. I had a new doctor when you left, but he's not as kind as you. Always glad to see a former patient in good condition. It's been a long time. Too long indeed. And as a token of my appreciation, I'll grant you the best price if you fancy buying anything from my humble shop. Vale. What can you tell me about yourself? I'm still managing my shop. The... Really? Have I changed that much? It must have been the war and the night shifts since my return. Don't get me wrong, Dr. Reed, you're still handsome. Just maybe a little bit wiser, more serious. It suits you well. Tell me more about yourself. No new fiancé? I remember you were hoping to get remarried. I'm sure you must have a few suitors. Who would marry an old bat like myself with a grown daughter and a little business? As you know, I only fancy handsome men like yourself. Have you noticed any... Other than you coming back to cheer me up? Nothing at all, Dr. Reed. Carol's gratitude is exemplary. She seems determined never to leave you. I'm taking care of my daughter as well as I can. It's not always easy, but she's the best gift life gave me. But she'll probably leave you someday to live her own life. Will that be difficult for you? Why would she leave? Children sometimes stay with their parents until the end, for they know no one else will love them as much. Does your daughter still worry you, Miss Price? I remember you were often concerned about her health when she was younger. Have you not seen Carol since you returned? She's almost a young woman now, but she'll always remain my sweet little baby. So you're less afraid? Some things never change. Carol is still too clumsy for her own good. Sometimes her innocence puts her in real danger. Why would her innocence put her in danger? She does not realize how cruel life can be. Maybe I was a bad mother to protect her too much. My poor dear Carol. You have every reason to be cautious, Miss Price. Especially in these difficult times. Maybe you could talk with her, Dr. Reed. It would be nice to have a man here more often. We would both feel safer. Tell me, Carol. Do you often wound or hurt your daughter by mistake? No. I always thought it was Carol's clumsiness that caused these incidents. Maybe it's a family trait, Doctor. You really believe it's just bad luck and being clumsy then? Of course, Doctor. What else could it be? I have nothing to hide. You are responsible for your daughter's many injuries and scars, Carolyn. You brutalize her, don't you? How could I abuse my own flesh and blood? This is nonsense. It would be like hurting myself. You really believe you've done nothing wrong, don't you? How long has this been going on for? I should have seen it when you were my patients. Seen what? Child abuse? 
Are you mad, Dr. Reed? I dedicated my whole life to my precious Carol. She is a part of me. Yes. Even her name is just a part of yours. This is a terrible tragedy. Something of an unknown disorder. My God. Abuse that comes from overwhelming love. I can't believe what I'm hearing. How dare you say something like that? What kind of a monster do you think I am? Speak to me, Carolyn. Why do you behave like this? How does it make you feel to hurt Carol before cajoling her? I... I don't know. It makes me feel good to take care of my daughter. I need to feel useful. No one ever takes care of me. I need someone to take care of me. Do you realize Carol is a person? Not a toy. Not a doll. The poor girl would put her hand in a flame to please you. You are both trapped in this toxic relationship. Carol and I are perfectly happy. Leave us be. How stupid I was to believe you could be a suitable husband. You're a threat to Carol, and no child should feel unsafe in the presence of their parents. No, Dr. Reed. You are the threat. You are threatening to separate a mother from her only daughter, from the meaning of her life. May I- It's always a pleasure. Vale, Caroline Price eh, pues básicamente es la madre de Carol eh, ella ha abusado mucho de su hija y la pobre muchacha está tan traumada que no, no, no acepta que su madre ha abusado de ella vale, bien, eh, vamos por otra persona por aquí andaba uno caminando luego, acá está ya no sabemos quién es este Good evening, sir. May I ask you what you're doing here at this late hour? I'm conducting an investigation about the epidemic in this part of town. And who are you, sir? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed from the Pembroke Hospital. May I ask who you are and why all the questions? I'm Detective Inspector Charles Albright from Scotland Yard. And I don't find your answers convincing. What is a Pembroke doctor doing in the West End at this time of night? Vale, el señor eh, Charles Jerome Arrich básicamente es un policía que está investigando casos. <ríe> Los dos casos de la desaparición de la mujer vampiro que encontramos en la cloaca y el hombre que salvamos en el bar de los dos vampiros este, eh, eh, que encontramos o salvamos. Los dos Econ que, que matamos para poder salvarlo. Pues básicamente eran casos de él y hay uno más de un homicida pero no nos da más pistas. Así que bueno, él es Charles Jerome. Así que vámonos con el siguiente. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ok, Agamemnon Baker, básicamente pues es el hermano de, de Pericles Baker. Son hermanos, están esperando a alguien. No nos han logrado decir a quién esperan. Pero bueno, a ver qué rollo. Goodbye. Vamos por el último, creo que es el último que me hace falta, ¿vale? Vamos por el último personaje. Según esto está allá abajo. Ah, mira, por aquí se puede.
Vale, tenemos aquí el último personaje, gente. No sabemos qué pedo con su vida, pero bueno. Está aquí en esta especie de catacumba. Supongo que por donde se puede entrar a, hasta la... ¿Qué dice? El crimen del conocimiento perdido. Ok. Vamos a hablar con este personaje a ver qué rollo. Jonathan Reed. At last we meet. The cards warned me you would visit tonight. I beg your pardon, sir. Do I know you? Of course you do. Our mutual friend, Dr. Swansea, can't speak highly enough of you. Hmm. My name is Usher. Usher Talltree. You are the leader of the Brotherhood, are you not? Primate of the Brotherhood of St. Paul Stoll, to be precise. I'm really glad we met tonight. I love it when the cards tell me a truth. The cards told you to expect me? Yes, they can tell me everything. They told me that you have not taken another life since your poor sister died. Vale, Ushes Tal Tree básicamente es el jefe de Saint Paul, o eso fue lo que entendí. Y se ha enterado de muchas cosas que hemos hecho y nos ha afirmado algo que me ha gustado muchísimo, que quiero que ustedes vean, que se llama aquí. Bueno, básicamente nos dijo que nosotros no hemos matado a nadie, que somos una buena persona. Bueno gente, después de habernos eh, visitado a todos los personajes, eh, vamos ahora sí a la misión principal, vamos a ir preguntando a, la, a los personajes eh, sobre cómo se llama, sobre Dawson, a ver hacia dónde nos lleva, ¿vale? Bueno gente, hice un pequeño salto, yo creo que esta es la mansión, la otra es la iglesia, debe haber algún truco para entrar a la iglesia, pero no tengo ni como idea, eso lo investigaré más adelante, vamos a entrar aquí, creo que es aquí. Así ah, aquí es, gente, ya, entramos a la mansión, ¿vale? Dawson's mansion. Here I am at last. Vale. But the question remains: Am I ready to make a dying man my progeny? No. No me interesa lo que pase, incluso si perdemos a la chava, que probablemente sea uno de los finales más feos. Ah, madre, ya te están muriendo mi compa. Vale, vamos a ver qué pasa. Finally, you're here, Doctor Reed. What took you so long? I had to pass several of your barricades and outposts to access your mansion, sir. Death, pestilence surround us, and time is against me. I see you've gathered some of the most expensive, albeit experimental, ah, mentira. transfusion equipment available. All this could be so useful in a hospital. Yes, yes. Since Lord Redgrave sent me a doctor to perform my conversion, I thought you might find some of these devices useful. Most thoughtful. But tonight I'm not here as a physician. But I feel reassured that a specialist such as yourself would help me to escape the Reaper. Very well. But before I proceed, I have a few questions for you. If you must, but be quick, for I don't have much time left in this life. First of all, I need to be sure that you know exactly what is going to happen to you, sir. I can assure you I'm as informed as any man can be. I have planned for this moment, Dr. Reed. Planned very carefully. Sir, I'm going to end your life. Do you not wish to discuss the procedure for even a minute? I don't have a minute to indulge in idle chatter. I can't feel my legs and the cold. So cold. Okay, pues vamos a darle. Let's move on then. Please, I'm cold and tired. I feel my life waning with every moment. But first, before you embrace immortality, what would you do with such a gift? That's a rather impertinent question, Dr. Reed. And I will do as I please. Answer me all the same. What will your first action be as an immortal? To save London. I will finance the most efficient quarantine ever seen. I will build a wall that will separate the sick boroughs from the healthy one. Ok, gente. No sé, tengo esa sensación aquí que no me gusta lo que está diciendo. I've heard enough. It's time to proceed. At last. All right, do what you have to do. If it hurts, so be it. I've been preparing such a long time for this. Cantado. Listen to me, Aloysius Dawson. You will forget your fear of dying, for it has poisoned your mind and made you bitter and ruthless since the death of your twin brother. You don't understand. Death is oblivion, the eternal void. 
I know there's nothing there. I saw it in Robert's empty eyes. I saw myself in that coffin. Death is painful for those who remain, not for those who have passed. All that occult gibberish you filled your head with has made you forget this simple truth. No! Death will not claim me. I have the power and the money. I've acquired the arcane knowledge needed. I believe there is magic. There are dark forces. You will provide me my extension. Your ignorance makes you a fool. You have no idea. Look at me. Hunted like a beast. My family lost. Cursed. I have not escaped death. I have become it. No, there must be a way. I don't want to go like my brother did. I have money. Lots of money. Money won't ease your mind. I know you used to be a good and generous man. So I offer you the gift of peace, Aloysius. The tranquility of a true death. I accept your offer. And I understand. No more fear, I will die a man. No me gusta matarlo, no quiero matarlo, pero... Es lo correcto, es lo correcto, él tiene que morir, yo no lo maté. O sea, él tiene que aceptar que murió solo, yo no lo puedo matar, yo no lo puedo salvar. Es cierto que es importante dejarlo que se convierta en vampiro, pero al fin de cuentas, el ser vampiro lo convierte en un inmortal muy poderoso y obviamente aquí se van malos putazos porque lo dejé morir. Is it done, Dr. Reed? Is Aloysius Dawson reborn as expected? I'm afraid Mr. Dawson finally chose to embrace life and death as a mortal. What do you mean? He has overcome his fear of dying. I let him rest and wait for death to come. What? This is unacceptable. Go back there and make him the powerful Econ he's destined to be. No, Lord Redgrave. As a doctor and as an immortal, I can't. If you wish to make him your progeny, then proceed on your own. This is an outrage beyond words. This is betrayal. Si quieres traición, adelante. I should kill you on the spot. You swore on William Marshall's blood. Well, get rid of me then. From now on, you're an outcast. Vanished. You are forbidden to ever appear in front of us again. Ascalon will smite you on sight. And your heart will be thrown to the rats. I'll leave you then. Have fun with your puppets and shadow plays, Lord Redgrave. Yes, go, traitor. And take that awful creature, that counterfeit of a woman I saw waiting for you, and be gone. A hierro morirás. Protege el hospital, por Step away, traitor. Okay. Turn to your dubious friends and your decrepit hospital. Do not dare show yourself again. You or that monstrosity you bring to my. Y ahora se van a quitar con el hospital. A ver, pedo, chicos, se va a armar los putazos. Iglesia del Temple. Uy, mierda, ¿y esta cosa qué? We meet again at the strangest of times, young Econ. So do you serve the Earl of Bristol now? Old Bridget? What are you doing here? Your friend, the wise Econ. She sent me to warn you. <sighs> Lady Ashbury? You know her? Tell me what's going on. The lady approached me but a few nights ago, wanting to meet the sewer skulls. Once she questioned Harriet Jones. She agreed to help us. Harriet Jones is still with you then? How is she doing? Harriet remains angry, but is recovering slowly. Her mind is twisted, but at least her body is healing. Tell me what is going on. The lady asked us to keep an eye on your mortal doctor friend while you were away. We spotted the hunters. They were discussing plans to attack tonight. Okay, vamos a ver cómo se van a No time to lose then. I must go there right away. I shall return to my den. Have you a message for the lady? Should I see her before you? Ay, qué bonito. Yes. Tell her I love her. Is this still unknown to her? Go now and take care, young Econ, for the flames are rising. Vale, gente, estamos llegando a la casa de la señora Ashuri. A ver qué rollo, vale.
Vale, el sur está allá. Hablemos con ella, a ver qué pasó. Elizabeth. I'm so happy to see you. I was so concerned. It is also good to see you in these darkened hours. Is all well, my dear? Indeed, we stand upon the precipice. Has the news reached you of Edgar Swansea? No. I returned home but moments ago. What of him? Your friend, the well-informed old Bridget, tells me the guard of Prewen has assaulted Pembroke. I fear Edgar tops their bloody list. Bridget? She is such a tragic figure. And yet, I sense deep inside, she has a delicate, fragile soul. I had the impression you despised Skulls, and now you find them delicate. You have persuaded me, Jonathan. It has been a very long time indeed since anyone has changed my opinion of anything of note. I was concerned for your safety. McCullum draws too close to you for my comfort. Fear not. I've evaded the hunters for many a year, and I intend to stay far from their gases, flames, and spikes. Now, speak to me of Dawson. I convinced Aloysius to embrace death as the ultimate gift of mortal life. I believe he found peace in the end. The cost must have been heavy indeed. I am proud of you, my love. Ascalon has defrocked me and threatens to hound me from the city. This was, no doubt, inevitable. You did what you thought was right at the time. One can ask no more. The important task now at hand is to help poor Edgar. Now I am assured of your safety. That is precisely my intention. Good. Now go, my dear, and return with good news with the greatest haste. It is I. I'm all right, Jonathan. Vale, ya que vimos que eh, la chica está bien, vamos a dejarlo aquí, chicos. Espero les haya gustado el capítulo. Yo soy Bruno me despido y nos vemos a la siguiente. Vamos directito al hospital Pembroke, ¿vale? Vámonos. Ven, 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 ven,